So something that I see every day, all the time, are kids drinking Capri Suns. They're at every single birthday party. Um, these have three teaspoons. Three teaspoons! Let me I'm Renee Seltzer, founder of Feeding My Kid, and in today's video, I wanna cover insidious sugars. Let me show you how much that is. I have all these little teaspoons right here. Three teaspoons and one Capri Sun. So you gotta understand, it becomes, you know, a little bit here and a little bit there, quickly becomes this by the end of the day. Um, and then imagine you multiply this by the end of the month and by the end of the year. So have your kids drink water, have your kids drink milk, but this stuff is sugar. It is sugar water, and you, you really just shouldn't let your heads have it. There's always gonna be the exception, there's always gonna be the birthday party that they once in a while have, totally fine. Everything in moderation, but you gotta get, if your kids are just drinking these with their lunch, they're getting this much added sugar. If you add that to the rest of their day, that becomes a lot. Really just this one drink is the amount of sugar that is recommended in one day. That's it, if they have no other sugar, which is virtually impossible, right? With, um, because 74% of packaged goods have sugar added to them. Well, why, why? Well, one of the reasons that they add so much sugar to processed goods is because it makes it sweeter, so kids desire it more. Kids have a natural kind of pull to sweetness, right? It's evolutionary, I have a whole video on the science behind picky eating, so be sure to check that out. But it doesn't mean that they will reject vegetables and other foods. One of the main reasons they start to reject vegetables and other foods is because all of this stuff is so filled with sugar and sweetness that they start to reject anything that isn't like this, right? So why do food manufacturers do this? Why are they, you know, slowly poisoning our kids. Well, if this isn't sweet enough, kids may not drink it. Um, or if it's extra sweet, the kids are gonna really desire it. And what happens is when they really desire something, you buy more of it and more of it and more of it. And they get you guys addicted to buying their food. So in turn, they make bigger profits, they get bonuses, and um, they move up the corporate ladder in their marketing departments. So it's really important that we actually all start looking at how much sugar is in our foods and I'm gonna walk through how to read a label, but I think I see parents give these to their kids all the time, a Gatorade. The, the commercials and the marketing, they really push Gatorade, that kids need electrolytes. 100 years ago, kids were fine and they didn't have all these electrolytes. Um, if, you need, if your kid is really, really, really active, you can make your own home Gatorade and there's a recipe down below because look how much sugar is in this one Gatorade, not including the food coloring, which is really not a good thing for kids to be eating. Chocolate milk. This is how much sugar is in chocolate milk. So if you're looking at this, we did not count the sugar that is naturally counted in the milk, right? So some of this is natural sugar that's just found in milk. So we didn't include that, but look how much extra sugar is made in there to make that taste so chocolatey and yummy. Get your kids off the brown milk and get them onto regular milk and or water. So you really want your kids drinking water. Okay, this is the most horrifying one of all. I, oh, I hate apple juice because this is how much is in this one serving of apple juice. I don't know if you could tell, but let's move it all to one little side. That's how much, that's insane, right? We didn't make it up. It actually says, and I'll zoom into all of these, but it says, 40 grams of sugar in one serving. So if you divide that by the four, that is 10 teaspoons of sugar in this. That's insane. Have your kids eat an apple and drink some water. Um, there could be anywhere from six to nine grams of sugar in an apple, maybe as high as 18 grams if it's a big apple, but it's not gonna be 40 grams of sugar, right? So, um, and the apple has fiber in it. The fiber is so important to go with the sugar. These foods don't really have fiber. Some may, a little bit, um, but the goal is to really kind of have at least three servings of fiber for any one meal that you're giving your kids. So if you're looking at this Lunchable, this Lunchable has 24 sugars. That's because it has a Capri Sun in there also. I'm um, going for this cereal, a kid's cereal. Go for oatmeal, right? So with high fiber, add some flaxseed. Um, give them, uh, like I said, you know, uh, Give them yogurt with almond butter to make it a little bit sweeter or honey if they need it until you can keep reducing the amount of honey that they get into it. It's gonna be a hard transition. I'm not saying it isn't, especially if your kids are really used to this. But if you, if you could save even a teaspoon every day, that already adds up to a month. This is, over, this is 30 teaspoons. So if you save one teaspoon a day, this is how much sugar you saved in just 30 days. 
So, and then the next 30 days, do a teaspoon and a half, and two teaspoons, and three. So by the end of the year, you've really pulled back how much sugar there is. So let me show you a couple different things. Like I said, super insidious. This makes me so mad. Okay, it says good to grow. It's got one of these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's obviously marketed to children, right? It looks good to grow and it has kiwis and strawberries and you would think, oh, I'm really doing a great thing for my kid. This has this much added sugar. It says, it says apple, carrot, beet juice. This is straight juice. Anything that says the word juice in it is actually a sugar. And that's how it's viewed in the body as a sugar. So if it says the word juice, think of it like it says high fructose corn syrup or just regular sugar. sugar. Um, as you see, this is really marketed to kids and it has this much sugar in it this much sugar. Give your kids water and they will have none of this. So I, it just really kills me that this stuff is marketed to kids and this is more sugar than they need in a day or this is actually their full day's worth of sugar, um, not including all this other food. So let's really cover some of the foods that we don't think. Um, when I started feeding my kids, I gave them the yogurts thinking I was doing something good for them. I was giving them good probiotics. Um, you know, I, we would eat tomato sauce and I'm like, oh, it has lycopene because it has tomatoes in it. I didn't know there's tomato sauces to really look at the label and say, okay, the, the ingredient here is sugar. It's one of the main ingredients in the top like four or five ingredients. Um, just look for a tomato sauce without added sugar. That's it. And the mac and cheese, I thought, okay, I'm buying organic mac and cheese, so I'm doing something great for my kids. This has five grams of added sugar. This has six grams of sugar. So even if you get you serve this for your kids for dinner, they already have pretty much half their day's worth of sugar in just this one packet. So you could definitely just make your own noodles and then add cheese as opposed to using packaged goods. Like I said, 74% of packaged goods have sugar in them. We started off with this ketchup in our home, never thought twice, I wasn't being present, I wasn't thinking about it, and then one day as I started to learn really sugars and what the sugars do to the body and really kind of start being keenly aware of what's going in our bodies, as I became acutely aware of how much sugar is going in our foods, I realized that there's four grams of sugar. I looked at the serving size and my kids use this as a food group, right? So they they will easily eat three, four tablespoons in one meal. They dip their broccoli in it, they dip their chicken in it, they love ketchup. So one day, to my horror, it says four grams in a tablespoon. So if I times that by how much my kids are eating, they're eating anywhere from 20 to 25 grams of sugar in just the ketchup. I was, I was, I was completely horrified. This is how much sugar in a tiny little tablespoon. We're not talking about a cup, we're not talking about anything a tablespoon and just imagine how many tablespoons your child has eaten so what i did so easy i just bought no sugar added ketchup that was it we used it one day nobody noticed it and that's what we use nobody even caught on that we switched it your kids might catch on but you know what you could just say this is the type of ketchup we're eating from now on because you care about their future health so really something uh, to look at all right Nutella. A couple of years ago, they started doing commercials that really pushed that this was a part of a complete breakfast. Um, and they make it look like it's so healthy. There's the nuts. This, um, this is a majority sugar. I didn't know that. One day I decided to make my own hazelnut. I bought some hazelnut spread. It was gross. And I, you know, I couldn't realize why it didn't taste like Nutella. I had no idea that this much of Nutella is sugar and this much is actual hazelnut. It's insane. So if you just do one serving, which is two tablespoons, two tablespoons, this is how much sugar, 21 grams. That means, as, like I said, it's probably, I'm pretty sure you're probably eating more than two tablespoons in one serving on your sandwich. That's insane. Um, but this is the Goober uh, grape and jelly, right? So it saves you a step. You don't have to do PB and J, you just grab this. Let me tell you, jelly is sugar. It is like almost completely pure sugar. So cut out the jelly in every sandwich that you ever make again, because um, the, in order, look at the ingredients, but in order to make the jelly part of it, it is almost all sugar, okay? So in this, in one serving, which is three tablespoons, right? So it is less, look how tricky that is. And one serving of Nutella, it was two tablespoons. And one serving of this, it's three tablespoons. So that is really tricky. You have to look at the serving sizes and realize that because it is so high sugar, they just pull the serving size down. Probably nobody is eating that serving size. This is how much is in this PB and J, right? In three tablespoons, you would add it to a sandwich. That's an insane amount of sugar. 
So really kind of evaluate, could you buy the organic or just buy peanut butter with no sugar added? Um, there's definitely those brands that are more natural. It is different for kids and it's gonna be an adjustment and maybe what you do is you split it. You do half of this and then half of the other stuff and you slowly, slowly start to unwind your child from all this sugar. If you cut it out, let's say you just get rid of all these processed foods, your kid is gonna go through withdrawal. So they're gonna be cranky, they're gonna be irritable, they're gonna demand it, they're gonna throw tantrums, but it's not life-threatening. Um, I will say, you know, if you do use processed goods, it's hard to, you know, go without sugar. So thanks for your time. So make sure you follow us on YouTube, share us, um, comment, and we look forward to the next video. Make sure you uh, comment below and let us know what your thoughts are. All right, bye.